there was people on the set going like, do you know how to make a, a horror movie? And Kubrick said, I'm not interested in that. It's weird. Everything Kubrick did was weird. He saw the world in a strange way. But uh, there was that was the feeling in the 70s of uh, couples that were a little bit strangers to each other and men that were uh, a little dangerous to their wife. Look, I grew up, I'm, I'm older than you. And uh, when, when there is a stilted, ugly feeling in that room that is familiar to my generation in terms of uh, domestic uh, dialogue, there is a fucking distance and an ugliness that I feel, I'll, I feel a lot of stuff that you didn't feel when I watched that. <laughs> Look, a lot boy. of people have said that Jack is like insane in this movie. <laughs> I get like, it. I I'm get not. it. But I, again, I'd way rather watch that than somebody who's like, boy, they really nailed the casting with this uh, role. <laughs> like Shelley Duvall is a good example. She's not beautiful and no. uh, elegant. And there's not chemistry between them, like cute, they barely know moments each other. Yeah. where you're like, oh, look at these two. That's nice. Ooh, I hope nothing bad happens. Like, who gives a fuck? I, like, I I've seen it so many times. I'd much rather watch, like, why are they talking like that? That's insane. Well, he's just different because I yeah. can imagine people saying to Kubrick, you know, you're not really letting us into Jack as a, a human being. And then Kubrick just said, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> yeah. People must have said it to him. Like, uh, we're not, the, the wife is strange. What you're asking Shelly to do, by the way, her hair is falling out because she can't, she's losing her mind playing this woman. And he said, uh, do me a favor, Dorothy, get the fuck away, get in the, the other room. Whoever said this to him, he said, just get the fuck away from me. I'm doing this. You go do that in another movie. <laughs> well, I'm going to, and in fact, they did. Stephen King, like, made it again. Who gives <laughs> it what Stephen King thinks of The Shining? He the Shining is not has nothing to do with Stephen King, who I think is a really cool writer. It's a whole other category. But Kubrick takes whatever fucking thing. He's like, here's a New York Times magazine, uh, this article. I'm going to make a movie about it. And he just makes it. He decides, I'm not doing the thing that you want me to do. I'm not doing a father who changes. I yes. don't. It's boring. It's do, done. It's been done a thousand times. So what? It's a very good way to make a movie. Go watch one. There's many. He's like, I'm making the movie from the point of view of the house and from the point of view of The Shining. This is, that's the main character is fucking hor horrible, strange, mysterious, knowing too much, uh, chilling, shining. Shining is the main character. Jack's not the main character, and neither is she. Uh, she is annoying. Like, you want her to fucking die. Uh, take, get, get the hatchet to the head. Well, what do you, it's not supposed to be a horror movie. Well. It's not. It, there is no prescription that that movie fills. You don't get a prescription that you go here and they go. Oh no, we don't have Friday the Thirteenth. We'll give you the shine. It's not. <laughs> it's not a generic for Friday. Like when you go to get Prozac and it's really le uh, Legzamil or whatever. The, this is from an abstract point of view of fear. The movie's point of view is fear, uh, or 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 whatever. I can't put it to words because it's just suggested. It's it's who's following the kid when he's in the fucking. Uh, tricycle. That's not even from the kid's point of view. It's right. from the point of view of this fucking it's, presence it's the, and the fucking, and the the poster of the naked lady behind Scatman Crothers. This is <laughs> this is Stanley Kubrick's idea of what a black man's Florida apartment is like. <laughs> I'm so much more interested in his bent ideas than I am in someone who's like, no, no, I'll show you what this would be like, and I'll show and I'll give you these feelings, manufacturing feelings. And by the way, I'm not putting down right. that kind of filmmaking. Some of my favorite movies, Good Goodfellas, a lot of my favorite movies are totally uh, reliable structures and you can see how they, they work. But this, he was doing something else. I do think that Nicholson is, is up. I think that Kubrick thought it was more interesting to make a movie where, by the way, the whole world is a little strange. The fucking doctor who interviews Danny after he passes out is weird. There, and, and then her, the mother with the fucking cigarette with the ash. Everyone's weirdly drunk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> insane and the guy with the giant hair who interviews him and the way they walk through the place and it's so fucked up there's, I totally there's yeah. barely a difference between the people that actually work in the hotel and floyd and the and, and you know and the ghosts but that's where the, the, the place is like sucking people in i mean the ghost the fucking the it's the building's point of view the building 
reaches out to Scatman Crothers across and, and makes him come from all the way from Florida. That's not your basic uh, horror movie stuff. His movies are not about human He's not beings. a humanist. They're about yeah. ideas. The other thing about Nicholson in this movie is that he ch- this movie was just so iconic in his his um, uh, acting that in that character that he created that he messed up the rest of history, the, the future for itself. It's a movie that you saw when it came out, and you're like, "What is this? this? Is crazy the way he's acting? It's coming from somebody's gut who has was a little bit not, not sane." Boy, you read my thoughts. You've got the shining. You mean shining? Shh. You wanna get sued? <laughs>